Hello friends, this is Durga from IT Varsity and as part of this video, I will be covering how to connect to the uh, command line interface or OS console um, for our uh, uh, database and also we will see how we can uh, use SQL Server to connect to the database. So first to, uh, to follow this video, you you already should have a Oracle Cloud account and also you should be familiar with uh, uh, the Oracle database service and you should use uh, that Oracle database service to create the database. So uh, you know, once you have the database uh, on uh, uh, Oracle Cloud using Oracle database cloud service, you can follow this video and you, can, you will be able to connect to the, um, to the OS console and also the database using uh, IDEs like SQL Developer. Okay, so uh, first, once you log in, make sure you go to this My Services URL. Okay, and uh, then go to the server and make sure that you are in the right uh, 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 right identity domain. I have multiple identity domains and if it is in wrong identity domain then you will not be able to uh, go to the right console. So make sure you are in the right identity domain. Click on service console and make sure whatever database you are trying to connect is already created. You cannot connect to the database which is in progress. Yeah, so uh, to connect first you need to click on this and need to get some details what are those details the main thing is public ip okay so if you have this if you can see the public ip then you can follow this video and uh, try connecting to the uh, console uh, using your terminal or sigwin or putty um, or you can also uh, use uh, IDEs like SQL developer to connect to the database. So this is the one which is most important. So I will be using terminal to connect to the uh, OS console first. So uh, I am on my PC. Now I have to run this command SSH. Typically to connect to the database this is enough SSH Oracle at and you have to give this IP address. Okay. And you will be able to connect to this if you have set up your SSH uh, uh, keys properly. If you are not able to connect uh, SSH keys properly, then whatever public key you have passed while creating the database is not uh, matching with the private key what you have on your PC. Uh, but if, if you follow the instructions which I have explained uh, as part of setting up SIGWIN, setting up SSH package, and also my previous video to set up the Oracle database uh, using Oracle uh, database cloud service, then you will not have any issues as long as uh, you use the Oracle as the username and IP address from here by clicking on the database. So you are in the database already, so it has everything. You can actually validate by running ps-cs command and uh, grep on pmon. You can see that pmon is running. You can also confirm that listener is running. Okay, so everything is uh, good. Everything is ready um, by just clicking a few buttons by entering few of the details. So now you can actually connect to the database using SQL plus slash as is DBA. Okay, and also if you remember as part of the previous video, we have. Um, uh, Connect uh, means as we are we have created the database using Oracle 12c there is a concept of PDBs which are nothing but um, uh, container databases uh, in Oracle 12c to support uh, multi-tenancy and uh, ORCL is the seed and port number is 1521 uh, you can actually uh, log in using uh, SQL plus uh, you can, I think you can also TNS ping 
yeah tns ping var cl okay so you can also do sql plus i hope you are already familiar with oracle if you are not also don't worry uh, but if you are familiar with oracle you can test all those the typical database uh, uh, validations which you will do before turning out your database to the development team so you can also do cset or cl as is dba and you can uh, enter the password so the password is entered at the time of the creating the database okay so you are in the database but as oracle 12c is a container database and we have chosen to create the container with name pdb1 you you can you have to do alter session set container equal to pdb1 and also while creating the da uh, database we have chosen the demos okay so if we have chosen the demos you will have schemas like hr uh, and all those things standard uh, schemas which will come as part of oracle demos so first let us uh, validate whether we have those schemas or not so that for that you can run a query um, like this select username from dba users where username equal to hr and enter so there is no database with name uh, so, sorry there is no schema with name hr why where but when we choose demos it will create so where it has gone it is created as part of this container called pdb1 for that reason you have to do alter session set container equal to pdb1 once you have set now if you run the query select your name from dba users and hit enter you can see that hr user is actually existing in this uh, container database called pdb1 and now you can also see what all tables we have in this uh, schema uh, from dba tables where username sorry where owner equal to hr and you can see that there are few databases in this database sorry few tables in this database they also have the data but we will validate the data later now you have seen how we can actually connect to the uh, console um, of on os but um, we have to connect our sql uh, ids like sql developer pl sql developer toad etc to the uh, to the database so that uh, we can run our queries more effectively than using sql plus on the server itself for that we need to have a sql developer so go to google download the latest version of sql developer if it is for mac download for mac if it is for windows download for windows once it is downloaded it will show up like this if you are using mac so click on this one it will expand and uh, copy this one so it is already unzipped and it uh, it has created the application here so you just have to move this to the applications now you can see the sql developer here double click on this and click on open okay now it is open now let us create a, a new connection for our database so typically what we do we will give the uh, connection name let me name it as the itversity in oracle cloud and the username is the system and the password which you have used while creating the database
and then you have to give the typically we, we give the IP address on which the database is running so in this case the IP address is this one and port number is 1521 and uh, CD is RCL and if you click on test it will just hang it will not actually connect to the database there are several reasons uh, for security purposes um, when you actually create the database it will not uh, open up uh, 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 all the ports so that you can actually uh, uh, connect to the remote database in a typical fashion for that reason either you have to open up the ports uh, which is not trivial when it comes to Archive Cloud or you have to use something called SSH tunneling so as long as you have SSH installed on your uh, PC either in SIGWIN or uh, using your terminal or using the PuTTY keygen you can leverage uh, SSH itself to tunnel and uh, this is how it will look like so first while connecting to the database itself you have to uh, connect to in a different way uh, so that uh, the ports are tunneled and there can be a communication between your PC and the remote data uh, remote server through uh, bit, uh, using those those ports and uh, as long as the tunneling is going on you can connect to the database once the tunnel is broken you cannot connect to the database so the command will look like this ssh you have to use minus l uh, and then uh, if you have uh, in the typical path um, which is home directory slash dot ssh um, uh, uh, slash id underscore rsa uh, for your private key then you can you don't need to give the location of your private key otherwise you have to give the location of the private key if you have to give the location of the private key you just have to give the path like this but if this is the path you don't need to give so it's up to you in this case i will be giving and then you have to give the local port so you can give any port uh, above 1024 i guess so local port i will give the same as the one on which the our database is running in this case one one five two one and then you have to give the IP address the remote IP address um, to which you want to connect and then you have to give the remote port um, to which you want to tunnel so this is the from port this is the to port they need not be same but this is, this should be a valid port on which uh, a particular service is running in this case our ORCL should, uh, ORCL SID should be running on this port otherwise it will not work so you have to make sure on which port uh, our ORCL SID is running and we have to use that one here and here we can give any port uh, beyond 1023 and this is the public IP address which we have got from our database once you have given that you can give the username and the uh, IP address to which you want to connect sorry the command is not correct I have to use minus i and then minus l and hit enter now you are already in the uh, Oracle um, uh, remote server with SSH tunneling okay now you can run the same commands which we have run earlier you can do sql plus slash as sysdba and then alter session set container equal to pdb1 and select count of one from hr is the schema name dot there is a table called employees in hr schema and hit enter you can see that there are 107 records now let us see how we can connect using uh, SQL uh, developer or PL SQL developer anything so in this case as the uh, tunneling is already de defined between the local port which is 1521 and the remote host and port you, you should not give the host name here instead you have to give the local host you have to give your IP it is not the conventional way of connecting to the remote database which you tip, uh, which you are used to this is a little bit different 
so make sure you understand that this is because we are using ssh tunneling instead of opening up the ports uh, so that we can connect uh, from the remote servers ports as well as ip addresses in the firewalls uh, this is the shortcut way to do that so as, as long as you want to connect from the public uh, uh, servers you have to do this but if you already have your application running as part of your oracle cloud you don't need to do this they can talk to each other directly but from your pc if you have to connect either you have to open up uh, uh, the connectivity in the firewall so that uh, the server can accept the connection requests from the re uh, remote servers like my pc uh, remote machines like my pc or you have to use ssh tunneling ssh tunneling is the most straightforward way as long as ssh authentication is enabled between our uh, pc to the remote server okay now you can click on test and test is successful let me save this click on yes and click on connect so now you are in this one uh, so this is the one which which is connected you can expand this and you can go to other users and you see that there is no HR here again because it goes to the default container um, I don't remember the default container name um, but our demos database is under pdb1 container so for that you have to do alter session set container name sorry container equal to pdb1 don't put the pdb1 in single quotes let me zoom in a little bit that's fine i will i hope you can see the uh, content i think it's not very straightforward to zoom in uh, so this is how uh, uh, you need to run alter session set container whatever we ran here you should run it here and then run the command once you run it select this one click on refresh and go to the uh, other users and you can see the HR user here you can expand this you can expand the tables and you can see the employees table here you can double click on this and you can see the uh, columns uh, here you can see the data and you can run the queries here pointing to the um, schema and the tables HR dot employees and run the query you can see all the data which it has 107 107 records so this is how you can actually connect uh, to both uh, uh, the server uh, OS console and also to the database directly using the um, IDEs like SQL developer okay so uh, um, that's it for now I hope you enjoy the content on my channel uh, so far we have created we have signed up for the Oracle cloud account we have uh, understand what the uh, platform as a service and the software as a service is and as part of the platform as a service we have seen uh, how we can actually provision Oracle 12c database uh, very easily uh, on the cloud within minutes and then we have seen how we can connect to the server and also the database using uh, uh, putty or terminal and also using sql developer that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel um, you will see a lot more content like this over time uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback or ask any technical questions related to this topic please use the comment section of the video thank you bye